Tigers Dev, it's day 62. Um, so, it's a pretty interesting lesson yesterday is on power chords, which um, one of my favorite bands, Nirvana, uses a whole lot. Um, apparently, it's supposed to sound better on an electric guitar, but I think I mean, electric guitars are. everything sounds good on them. So, um, they still sound good on acoustic, so I'm very happy about that. Um, but pretty much the cool thing about it is that it's the same shape and you just move it up and down your neck. So, um, so what we learned was the G power chord, which is called G5. Um, and the shape, okay, so it's on the third fret. So you have open, one, two, and then on the third. So it's first finger, touching that first string. Second finger is this kind of dangling below. Apparently it's easier later on if you put it on the fourth string and that next fret over. And then the next fret from that, second finger goes on the second from the top, third finger goes right below that. So you're only playing the top three and you're, lose, and you're working across three different frets. So this is the G5 and you're strumming the top three. So apparently, it's still unclear to me, but apparently, instead of just putting your finger at the top string, you're supposed to lay it down slightly, so all the other strings are muted. Um, so that's still unclear to me, but I'm practicing kind of both ways. Um, I don't think, I think doing the bar over all the strings is helpful. Um, for me at least, just because that's something I struggle with, so I get more practice. Um, but I so that's a G5 power chord. Now the thing about the power chord is since it's all in the same shape, you can just move it around. So it goes with that note circle. So if I remember correctly, after G it's then A sharp, with that little half step, and then the full step is A. So I want to do the A one. So I would move the whole thing two so one two i get my fingers corrected so this is the a power chord a5 so there we go so that's kind of how it works um i'm not too sure that i'm doing it correctly because the sound it sounds a little bit off um but it's something i'm going to focus more and more on it is something that I see a lot of value in because I want to play the big things I wanted to learn were like songs by Nirvana, Johnny Cash, Fleetwood Mac. Um, yeah, I guess those are the big ones. So, um, yeah, so it's just something I want to practice more and more, get that correct. Apparently, there's also many more lessons on power chords. It's, just, it's called Power Chord One. Um, so, yeah, and then the next lesson, I don't know, but I forgot what it is, but. I'm about to do it now. Um, yeah, so that's it. Thanks again. Have a good one. Bye.